everyone! Today's video is going to be a collab with Becca from A Life Learned. Today in this collab we're going to be creating a coping box as well as journal ideas. A coping box can be personalized any way you like and filled with things that make you happy or help you cope. Here is an example of a coping box that we created along with an idea on how to personalize your journal and what to put inside of it. Once you have your box, just a few ideas to start you off in terms of what to put into it. A good start would be a heating pad, as a lot of people with fibromyalgia find heat as a good source of relief of tension. Also, bath stuff such as bath salts or bath bombs, bath oils, and maybe floating candles even, something to create a relaxing environment. And also, again, another way of finding relief through heat because the warm water can help the pain of the muscles. And candles and incense are also a good idea just to have for in your bedroom to create a calming environment for yourself. And also just different ways to entertain yourself in bad days when you're stuck in bed, such as reading a magazine, or playing on your iPad, or for people who have more pain in their arms, maybe sources of music such as portable speakers or iPods. Or something that could encompass almost all those things would be your phone as well, both as a source of entertainment or music, as well as a way to communicate with other people if you're having a hard time and need to reach out for support. A water canister or something to have water in is also a really good idea because keeping your hydration up does help with managing your pain. Something else to consider would be hot and cold creams. Some people also find cold to be relieving for their pain as well. Also another idea is a head massager which can be very helpful for relieving tension and stress headaches. your journal all decorated and pretty and looking the way you want, however that might be, a good thing to start would be an information page. You can use either the very first or very last page so that it's easy to find. And with this page you would constantly refer back to it for different things that could be helpful while you're in pain, such as phone numbers of fellow friends or family if you're having a hard time with your memory when you're in pain, some people do, or even local doctors if that might help you in getting advice to deal with a certain pain that you might be facing at that moment. There are also websites that you can go to to find doctors that are in your local area and we'll try to put that down in the description for anyone interested. After the information page is all set up, the rest of the journal can be split up into sections. The first section can be used to write down positive reminders or moments in the day that make you feel happy. That way when you're not feeling at your best you can go back, read those things, and remember those good moments. The next section can be a place to journal or document symptoms or things that you'd like to remember to tell your doctor. The last section can be your safe place where you can write about anything. You can write about how you're feeling or what you're going through. It's a great place to just let it all out. Writing about anger, sadness, or any other painful emotions helps to release the intensity of the feelings. It's a great way to cope. And for anyone watching, please come check out my channel. I'm all about providing support for both chronic pain as well as mental health issues, poverty issues, and a lot of different things, as well as advice for whatever people ask for. So please do come check me out and feel free to make a video request if you're interested. 
Please follow the link to Becca's channel. We're going to have another part to this collab over there. I'm going to be featured in her video as well. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. I hope this video can help you or maybe somebody that you know in some way. If you have a coping box or journal, what are some of the things that you put inside of yours? Thank you, Becca, for collabing with me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.